everybody, I'm in the little wood, all sending us Martin, and welcome back to Evoland. Oh, wow. Apparently, I have max health so I can throw beams out. <laughs> That's a very cool throwback. Uh, welcome back to Evoland. So, a couple of people pointed out, actually, that it was quite funny that I mentioned Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirrels in the last episode, because now we have entered the depths of the sewers, essentially. So, I'm wondering if we're going to find the Rat King down here, maybe Shin. Or somebody else of that nature. Looks like we need a couple of keys at the moment. So if we head over to the left, we're going to go and find some bloody bats. I hope I keep that, like, fling strike thing if I lose a little bit of health. I don't really want to experiment and find out. I'd rather just not get hit at all. Oh, God. Oh, he's a bit low. Okay. Oh, I can still throw them. Okay, brilliant. Good. All right. Looks like I can do more damage when I have that, though. And then my charge... Yeah, his little smash. It's been actually a couple of days since I've played this, so I've already forgotten the dude's name. <laughs> which I know is really, really bad, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Names particularly, I'm really bad with. Um, so unfortunately, I've already forgotten the characters. I know that I'm called Kuro. I know the girl's called Fina. But I don't remember the name of our latest ally, uh, the demon guy. Let me see if it tells us in the menu. Mm, no, it doesn't. I'm going to have to wait for a cutscene or something, aren't I? Oh dear. Right, mind the landmines, mind the squidoodlies, and then we'll be all good. I, I only ever say squidoodlies now because I know squid as well. The squidoodly, welcome back to. By the way, if you've not seen a ballistic squid on YouTube, go check him out. He is a wonderful human being. I really need to play Rocket League with that guy soon as well, actually. That'd be really cool. Oh, okay. I'm going to assume that I can't do any damage to you. Actually, let me see if I can take your hat off. No, I can't. I thought maybe I could hit the spikes and then they'd fly off. All right, as long as you hold forwards, you should be all good. All right, there you go. Never let go. Oh, God. Be like Rose and never let go, but ultimately let go when it's too cold. Okay, over the top. Oh, my sweet lord. Okay, I nailed it. Good stuff. Speed running tactics. Let's go. Uh, there was a chest over that way, wasn't there? I think down here and to the right, there might have been a chest. I'm fairly certain I saw one. Can I attack those? I can. Good. All right. Let's hold the charge key. If we can do it underwater. Yeah, that'll be good. All right. This wasn't the chest I was looking for, but we got a collectible star. Oh, nice. So according to the game, there's one in thir uh, one of 30 of them inside the whole game. Right. So it must be like a collectible. Uh, I, I imagine that's part of a Steam achievement or something. So that's fine. Uh, my oxygen bar is getting a little low, but I'm all groovy. Let's go up here. Uh, a couple more of these to break. I'm glad that some of these I could break with my sword and others I can't. Oh, God. Okay, over the top. Yeah, there you go. No messing. Good. Oh, ah! go, go, go. <laughs> I thought I was going to get caught by that second one there, quite honestly. Uh, there you go. Nice. Oh, no. That's all right. Take the hit. Take the hit. Take two hits. Three hits. Everybody gets hits. You get a hit. You get a hit. I don't want that XP, though. There you go. I probably should be farming easy enemies, in fairness. For all the XP. As much as I call them easy. Ow! Whoa! I was not paying attention to my oxygen bar then. I'm down on four health. I might actually die here. If this gets any worse. Oh, no! <laughs> That's totally my bad for not concentrating. Totally my bad. Oh, bloody hell. So go again. Oh, no. Jump, 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 jump. Just leg it. Leg it. Oh, my God. I've taken so many hits straight away. It's because I'm rushing. Oh, my God. I'll be drinking vodka next. Oh, God. Dad jokes for the win. There you go. Bloody squids. Oh, that heart was very close to the landmine. Don't know what possessed me to try and get that. But it seems to be worth it. There you go. Level up. I wonder how much... The, I mean, I bet there are spots in this game where you can farm enemies quite easily. Oh, yeah. Oxygen, 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 oxygen. Balls. I just keep forgetting to look at my oxygen. I'm so bad at stuff like this. Any kind of stat management... I just can't do... Oh, bloody hell. All right, ignore the enemies now. You've got your level up. That's all you're after, initially. I'll get that. Actually, I might go back up for that heart there. And I'll refill my oxygen again. So does my oxygen go down every time I jump, or is that just a coincidence? Oh, you know what it does? And obviously, whenever I take a hit, it seems to decrease as well. Okay. I'm, it's a shame that there's not like a Sonic the Hedgehog-like bubble. You know, that whoop, whoop, when you collect it. That kind of thing. There you go. Ignore all the squid oodlies. Uh, that's it. Just jump past him. That's fine. There you go. Got yourself a checkpoint, dude. Sweet. All right. We're already getting a little testy with this. 42 at the minute. Oh, God. So keep the health coming up. Good. Let's get that back up to full. Good stuff. 46 health at the moment. Damn. These level ups are quite random as well. It's never really even as to what the um, what the level ups are going to give you. So then, like, one time we got, like, eight hearts. 
And then we got something daft like only like one attack or something and one defense. It's very strange. Oh god. All right, keep going. Oh, I didn't mean to, I meant to press jump there, but for some reason it didn't register. God, I nearly headbutted that one. Bloody hell. All right, here we go. Let's charge up. Get the hell out of here. Nice. You can actually get rid of both of those. Sweet. We got some money. And do I want to go near the Sphinxes? Yeah, okay, I'm good. We're all good. The key to the sewers. Aha, there's key number one. So that's number one of two. My god, what are you? So just attack the iris and you'll be all good. Sweet. He took quite a lot of hits as well, actually. It was, what, like seven or eight? Charge it up. Boom. Slam dunk the funk. Ah, uh, let's go up there. So we've got that one there. So that must be key number one, right? Yeah, there you go. Key number one. So I want to use the key to the sewers. Then we just got one more left to go. Uh, which way did I go? I think I went down to the left the first time, didn't I? Because I, I, I fondly remember jumping over the gap. Yeah, okay. I've definitely not been this way just yet. So it just spam to win. <laughs> Don't let him get anywhere near you. Oh, bats. Oh, god damn. He's not going to be able to come down that low, is he, the bat? No, okay, we're fine. Just uh, maybe run. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, God, that was close. Just run. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Oh, dear. It's getting a bit magma -y down here. It's a good thing we learned about the uh, alien sperm eye monster before we came down this route. We had a much, uh, much longer corridor to deal with him for the first time we approached him. There you go. Good. We can attack off of walls. Run past this dude. Oh, there you go. Uh, do I want to jump up there? That looked like a secret. Oh, God. Every time you press jump, it actually drops. It doesn't actually try to jump you upwards. You just end up falling. Uh, yeah, that is strange. Hmm. Fair enough. There you go. Get past him. Grab that one. And then we'll go back and grab the chest. Oh, but we're not dinky or tiny enough to get through there. Those platforms are going to fall away. Fair play. Enough to the inside of there. All right. Straight over the gap. No, off the wall. <laughs> uh, we can't quite get up there just yet. Do we want to go down past this dude? Yeah, why not? Oh, he's... He only seems to fire when I move. He seems to stop otherwise. I don't know why I did the whole plunge there. Whew, I was going to do I stopped myself. Bloody hell. I'm going to wait for him to strike. There you go. Good. All right, get the heal. There you are. Thank goodness. Okay, across to the... Ah! <laughs> this is going to take a few goes. This one's going to take a few goes. So, across to there. Across to there. Oh, my God. There you go. Across to there. So we can no clip through them. We're not going to end up headbutting them. That is good to know. Oh, Jesus. Now, do these charge at me if I get too close to them? Oh, oh wait, wait. I'm real close. There you go. Got it. Nailed it. Right, which way do we want to go? We obviously can't go back that way because of the lava. So, oh, I see what happens there. Sugar. I think I need to charge it before I jump away because it looks like I can charge and jump at the same time. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So there. Oh, I pressed jump, but because the platform fell as I pressed the jump key, it actually balls up the input. So that there. Now jump afterwards. Right. Okay, good. That's better. Oh, dear. Um, uh, sneak past you. Oh, which way do you go? You go that way. Okay. Okay, sure thing. Oh, no. I fell too far. I think I was supposed to fall only a tiny bit, and then I'd be able to grab onto that ledge. Bugger off you. Oh, bloody hell. They're ready coming for me. Why is he? Uh, oh, no. I'm cornered. I'm cornered. Oh, no. Don't go to the right. Oh, why would you ever? All right, grab on. No, oh, I keep falling too far. I don't believe it. Come on, let's get this again. So you to there. Nailed it. Oh, God. Okay, across to there. Oh, I jumped past it again. Come on. Can I? Um. No, I thought maybe I could do that. Oh, look at how that looks like you can make it. I thought there was like a little like glitchy bit there. I never thought about killing them, actually. <laughs> don't know why. There you go. Just killed a lot of them. I like to set myself the challenge of having done it the proper way. But when that fails on my skills, apparently come to the surface that I'm a terrible gamer. We take the other route instead. Level 8 or 9? Level 8. Okay, cool. Yeah, like again, look. 2, 2, 6. I mean, I'm not complaining about having more health. That's absolutely ideal. Uh, can I run past you guys? Yeah, just sneakily. All right, we've got bats. Uh, oh. Grab onto whatever ledge comes next. No ledge came next. But at least we know now that we can literally just drop from here. Oh. We shouldn't die if we do this. We should just be able to drop from there. There you go. Ah! Oh. No, we have to be real quick about that. So I think we can fall without taking fall damage. But we also have to make sure that we just run real fast. Oh. No, I got cock blocked by the giant throbbing cock on the wall. All right, so drop down again. There you go. Drop. 
Oh, no, every time! Come on! Give me a break. I'm gonna have to grab onto the bottom uh, netted wall. That's fine. So there you go. Good. Go now. Jump! Ah I tried to say good and jump at the same time. It just came out as jug. Okay, we're good. There's another chest right there. Take it. Open that bad boy up. What do we got? Ah, the other sewer key. Fantastic. All right, I'm not even bothered if I've missed the chest here or whatever else. I just want to get the hell out of here. Oh, there is an enemy just there. You can bugger off. Take the chest. Green goop. Ugh. That's the second lot of that we've got now, actually, I think. Oh, that's a bit of a tricky drop. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Oh, we can kind of go at an angle, though. Well, this might actually work in our favor. I think we might have actually had to have traversed all the way across this way. Yeah, I guess we've managed to salvage this somewhat. Okay, so if I grab onto you. There you go, good. Don't go sideways, there you are. Good boy. Yeah, look at this. We destroyed it. All right, up we go. That brings us out on this side where the ladder should hopefully return us to the surface to where the key door is. Yeah, look at this. Boo at ya. All right, second key door. We're gonna use the old key for the sewers. And we're going to go through what looks like a cupboard. It doesn't really look like a doorway, does it? It looks too small for us to fit through. Oh, we need another sewer key. It's going to be a boss up here. Oh, a town. Ah, finally. We're in the open air. Hmm, even smells like cake out here. Come to think of it, I've hardly had a bite to eat since we started what was supposed to be a quick stroll. That cake smell makes my tummy rumble, Kuro. Aren't you hungry too? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Great, then let's find an inn. I could eat a horse. Well, I don't know, maybe back in these times you could. I too would be am 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 amenable. Never heard that word before. Amenable to a little rest. But we should stay discreet. All right, whatever you say, Menos. The city gates are closed due to the war. We shall have to devise a plan to get us out of this bind. An inn would certainly be a good place to obtain information. My people are more at risk with each hour we waste. So is he gonna be able to walk around here without getting into any trouble? Well, that settles it then. We're gonna go eat! All right, good stuff. You're like Luffy. The body needs strength in order to fight. Can't you just say that you're hungry, Menos? Uh, uh, I... Uh, I'm hungry. Ah, there we go. You just have to be honest about your feelings, and life immediately gets easier. If we're gonna, uh, if we're going to continue this adventure together, we have to be honest with each other, okay? Right, Kiro? Whatever. All right, let's go. <laughs> Kiro, not very forthcoming. I'm hungry, Solid Snail. Let us gather our strength and find information. Oh, he's one of these guys that always talks in like a very old English accent, isn't he? <laughs> like every single time. Hello, you. I know we don't have much money, but my mummy works hard to have enough to take me to see the fights at the Coliseum. Ah, your mum's the best. Go single muns. Uh, I'm so scared of Menos the Exterminator. Oh, I get nightmares sometimes. I'm assuming we left him outside. Yeah? Good. My son just loves the Coliseum. I wish you were more interested in the hard facts of life, like doing housework, cooking, working to survive. Well, I'll be honest, watching a man get hacked to death in an arena is a bit of life. It's pretty. It's probably the more terrifying part of life. I think the other stuff can kind of come and go as and when you please. Uh, look at this guy with a quiff. Oh, uh -huh, baby. At times, I wonder if being rich is not a is not a kind of servitude. In any case, baby, it brings me back many woes. Would I be making the same choice if I had to do it all over again? Oh, you know it. I would certainly correct some mistakes I made. I would no doubt even be richer then. All right, so you just want more money. All right, you stingy bastard. Uh, what's inside of there? We can't open that because it's somebody else's. And there's not really a great deal going on in here. Let's just go find some grub. I just want to see a big steak sign. Or like a Nando sign or something outside one of these houses. Uh, what's that say? Be a millionaire. Play and win. Open 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. I am well up for the lottery. Chickens ran away. Do you want to help me round them up? Sure thing. All right. Last time I did it, I trusted a kid all dressed in green who just screwed around. <laughs> Link. That guy. That guy. That bloody guy. He even used my chickens to fly off the ground. Bunch of nonsense, really. My poor hens were traumatized. That's probably Cosmo that was speedrunning him. So we've got you. So we need to go find some others, don't we? So there'll be some other chickens around the town somewhere. Now, we did mention Nando's. Now, I'm not going to say that we're going to tell him that we failed our mission. But we've already failed our mission. Because as soon as we find that chicken, I will devour it whole. I will literally inhale it. I think Menos could inhale a chicken. I don't think Kira is quite up to the task. All right, come here, you. So is it a case of just pushing you around the place? It's going to be a bit of a ball ache, isn't it? Oh, God, he's no clipped into the shop. 
Never going to pull him back now, are we? There you go. Downwards. Can't even see him. <laughs> Can't even see him. There you go. That way. Good. Good lad. Who's a good little chicken? Oh, sugar. You're not a good little chicken. There you go. Holding chicken is not an easy feat. Oh, there's another chicken right there. Can we double him up? Let's see if we can double him up. No, nope, he's stuck behind the bush. Let me do that. All right, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, that chicken doesn't like he's going to move. He's just going to sort of patrol that area for the meanwhile. So that's all right. Come on. Can I swing my sword to scare them? No, I can't. What about one of my charges? What about if I do this? Nope, bugger all. All right. So as long as I stand on the underside. Good. You keep going downwards, though. That's the issue. Nice. Okay, you just have to be really gentle with it by the looks of it. You basically... No, because he keeps hitting that invisible wall. Do you see this? Oh, this is so annoying. Yeah, good. He gets to there and then he always goes downwards. Yeah, look, there's, there's some kind of invisible wall. Maybe it's impossible. Maybe it's just a troll. No, you know what? Balls that. Can't be bothered. <laughs> you had your chance. You blew it. Nando's is not happening anymore. Uh, will the inn serve food or not? Let's have a little chat with her. Welcome to the River Rat Inn. Enjoy our home brewed beer. Guaranteed frothless every time. Sample one of our home cooked meals, fresh from yesterday or even last week. Sleep in our beds with fresh sheets, changed less than a month ago. Wow, that is quite recent. After that pitch, I seriously deserve a raise. <laughs> I'll give you a tip. Don't worry about it. I'll give you a hundred dollar tip. Um, here we go. Quest icon. You wish to bring some something in or out the city? Uh, yeah, sure. We've reduced transit charges, of course. That's Mr. Mudwell. He's in the inner courtyard. Okay, interesting. Uh, what's inside of there? Oh, oh, wait, hello. Shady stranger. Who are you? Oh, he's Mr. Mudwell. All right, okay. All right, lads. You looking to leave the city, are you? I should be able to help arrange that for you. Got some chicken feed for me? You know, clams, moolah, something to smoothen our relations. Not that I don't trust you or anything, but a little collateral never hurts. Uh, Kiro, I don't like the look of this guy. I don't think it's such a great idea to deal with him. The young lady's correct, at least in theory. However, I fear we have no other choice. In the army, we often say that the ends justify the means. I think the adage applies in the present circumstances. But I shall leave the strategizing to you, Solid Snail. So, you interested? Sure, why not? Uh, I think you and me are going to get along just fine. How about a small deposit to facilitate our relations, huh? Let's say around 300G to start off. No, I'm going to ha I'm going to haggle everybody. Right, well, it's up to you. Nobody can say I'm twisting your arm. But if it was me, well, anyway, there's no rush. Do we even have 300G? How much money have we got in the minute? Oh, you know what? We have 308. All right, let's go for it. I don't really know how we'd earn money otherwise. All right, let's go for it. Mr. Mudwell, we would like to partake in your services. Yes. All right, just keep mashing A. There we go. So here's the deal. Bring me 150G more and I'll get you out of here. Oh, you can always refuse, of course. But in that case, I'll keep your deposit. It's only natural. I'm guessing you'll accept. I mean, sure, yeah, like we're 300 gold down out of 308. So <laughs> you've kind of got us by the balls here, Mudwell. I suppose you don't have, or no longer have, money on you, do you? Am I mistaken? Oh, I see. So that depending on how much money you have in the game, it will just round it down to the nearest, like, ten, or maybe the nearest hundred. That's pretty funny. Well, if you want to leave, it looks like you'll have to work for it. I know, that ugly word. Personally, I try as often as possible to refrain from it. But at times, the ends justify the means. My assistant at the inn should be able to help you find a few odd jobs. In return, you'll have to sleep there. I know, I know, it's no five-star accommodation, but just think of tomorrow, when you'll be free and far from the Empire. Good luck. All right. Kiro, are you sure that was a good idea? Solid snail. I shall never let you negotiate again. Oh, that's a bit harsh, Menos. Although, Kiro did fall for it hook, line and sinker. But he's trying his best, and that's what really matters. We've lost all of our money, and what's more, we have to pay our way out of the city. Well, first of all, that was our money, not yours. And secondly, you don't have to worry because I'll see to it that we get out of this horrible place. Is that okay with you, Kuro? After all, Menos and you are on the... on the what? Did I say the lamb or the 1am? I can't quite decide. 
Let me make myself useful and earn the money we need. Sure, go for it, Fina. Thanks for trusting me. All right, let's get to work. All right, now we're playing as Fina. Oh, this is cool. All right, we need to find a safe spot so we can wrap this episode up for today. There's got to be one in here somewhere, right? Uh, is that a rat there? Oh, wow, she's like a fighting type. She's like a melee puncher type. Oh, this is cool. She does hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right, well, anyway, there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. That is it today for Evo Land. In the next episode, Fina's going to get put to work. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.